Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. This is Taking a Tech Dive. Today's Tech Dive is going to be about the Apple TV. Last week, we covered the Roku set-top box. Today, the Apple TV set-top box is our topic of choice. Now, the Apple TV, much like the Roku, is a small set-top box about four inches square. Uh, it has the ability for you to stream anything you have on iTunes. Any of your music, any of your videos, any of the TV shows you purchased. You can also purchase things like that right through the Apple TV. It also has other things available to it like Netflix, Hulu Plus, HBO Go, some sports channels like MLB. It does Crackle, which is a free movie network. It has PBS. It has a native YouTube app as well, where the Roku does not. Uh, many of the channels on the Apple TV are subscription channels, meaning you have to pay a subscription to use them. They're not free. There are a couple of free ones. Um, there's an, a good Sky News channel. If you like Sky News, it, that's actually a live broadcast from the UK, as opposed to things like Hulu or Netflix, where you pick what you want to watch and it streams it. The Sky News is actually a live broadcast right over the uh, Apple TV. Now, the Apple TV costs about $99 retail. Uh, sometimes you can get a deal if there's a sale on them. Uh, very rarely do you see a sale sponsored by Apple, but many outlets that sell the Apple TV will occasionally have a sale or a coupon that you can use to get it at a lesser rate. Uh, when I bought mine, I got a $25 savings, so I got it for $75. So that was a, a good deal. So another thing you can do with the Apple TV that you can't do with the Roku is you can actually mirror your iPhone or iPad directly to the television. So if you're watching something on your iPad and you want to stream it to your TV, there's something called AirPlay. Now what AirPlay will do, it will allow you to take what's on the screen of your iPad or iPhone and throw it directly to the TV so you can watch it on a large screen. It also takes the sound and moves the sound over to the TV as well. So you can go ahead and just, you know, watch something on your iPad and then, you know, airplay it to your television. That's a great skill uh, and is what really sets apart the, the Apple TV from the Roku box. I mean, both have pretty much the same content, but the, the Apple TV goes one step further with being able to interact with the iPad and iPhone. So. That's our talk today about the Apple TV, just another choice of set-top boxes. Now, there's no reason for you to actually have to decide between the Roku and the Apple TV. You can get both. I mean, heck, I did. Um, to, next week, we're going to be talking about the Google Chromecast, uh, another in a set-top box type of device. So stay tuned for next week's Tech Dive. This is David Hale from Tech Dive TV.